Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I discuss the latest streetwear releases, I discuss the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for Palace's Spring 2023 collection. Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm sorry I've been so slack in January doing videos. <laughs> it's uh, whew, it's actually a lot harder to do videos in summer than I thought it was going to be this time around. It is stinking hot all the time. I'm sweating all the time trying to do these videos. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, um, it's tough, but we'll keep doing it. We got to do it. We got to talk about the latest seasons. We got to talk about, well, Supreme's not so latest season as well, because I haven't done top five video for that i'll get around to it i need to do it this week i'm writing it down i'm gonna i'm gonna try and do it but i need to ignore supreme and their fall winter 2022 season for a second and talk about palace in this video because their spring 2023 season is starting up very very soon and we're going to be covering all the details about it that we have at the moment so the drop details for week one the lookbook and I'll be covering my thoughts and opinions on everything that I see in that lookbook. Now, if you want to know what is dropping in week one, stay tuned, stay subscribed, all that good stuff, because the drop list video for week one will be coming probably very close to the actual drop time of week one. Um, as I always express, week one is the hardest one to get intel on, um, accurate intel. So we're holding out for that Max Merch More Instagram post. Um, hopefully they come through. Otherwise, I'll have to go to other sources, <laughs> see how that one goes. But uh, stay tuned, drop list for week one coming soon, but we need to cover this lookbook first. Uh, we'll be using a Hypebeast article to cover week one's release details, uh, the lookbook itself, and my thoughts and opinions on it. Let's head on over to that Hypebeast article now and start covering the release details for week one. All right, all right, here we are. Um, if you guys want to read the article, maybe steal some images from the lookbook, Going to be linked in that description section below we'll quickly scroll on down get those release details covered take a look at the spring 2023 lookbook above don't you worry hype beast we absolutely will be drop one or week one of the collection is set to release in store and online in the uk eu on february 3rd that checks out tomorrow uh the tuesday is the 31st wednesday will be the first of february thursday will be the second friday's the third that all checks out Friday's the drop day. It drops 11 a.m. GMT time. I like to go British Standard Time, but uh, GMT time might be more accurate with that one. Uh, it'll drop online in the US at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, in-store in New York and LA at their 11 a.m. time zones. Uh, Japan and China will be getting it the day later. Um, they get it, oh, well, apparently it says on the same day according to this Hypebeast article, but they always get it on the Saturday, so I don't know about that one. But it says uh, Japan in-store and online, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard T Time, and the WeChat store for China, 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time. Again, I still think that's Saturday the 4th, but we definitely click on the online link and go check out Palace's official store to see if I'm wrong. But I still feel like it's gonna be the Saturday. Anyway, could be wrong. That is all the release details for week one. If you want uh, any of your questions answered to do with week one, Comment section below. I'll try and help you out the best I can. But that is everything covered to do with the release details for week one. Now we need to know what we're going to be getting in the season. Let's check it out, guys. Let's go through this lookbook and see what we are getting for the spring 2023 season. Look, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see a palace lookbook, it never kind of coincides with the season that it goes with, or at least the silhouettes and and the material choices i guess don't really coincide with the season because when i think of spring i don't think of rocking a full-on uh gore-tex suit like this <laughs> with a fur hat but maybe i'm just out of touch i don't know but uh yeah we got some 3m detailing on the gore-tex and triferg branding alice what looks to be embossed or puff i don't even know designed onto the front of the jacket there we have some matching pants with it don't think the shoes are relevant we got the very furry hat up there Another showcasing of it there. Gore-Tex, Palace Triferg, very utilitarian. Pocket, 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 pocket. Just pockets on pockets. There's probably gonna be pockets on the back. We've got a nice little work jacket, or at least a nice little canvas jacket. 
like the uh, darker use of material on the collar, little logo there and some other things there on the left breast. Probably a huge graphic on the back, but we'll hold out and we'll see if that's the case. Uh, we got a palace hat with um, some very Asian styled palace characters. We've seen that typography used before in previous seasons. Uh, I think there was a knit with the bunny rabbit on it that used this same font. I definitely remember seeing this font before on um, some previous pieces there. Looks like some indigo denim that we might be getting as well, but I'll have to check the back to see if it's Palace branded, to see if it is a part of the season. Uh, yeah, nice jacket though. Solid jacket. We'll have to see how the back graphic turns out, if there is a back graphic, but uh, yeah, should be good. I'm not completely mad. I, I, I like this. The uh, reflection of the mountain is being showcased in the water here, but it has Palace written on it crazy <laughs> wow uh yeah no don't mind the graphic on the back of it um it looks quite nice um yeah no complaints okay it is definitely palace indigo denim down the bottom there as we can see by the palace logo that's been slapped on the cheeks there uh yeah not too bad it's all right um i i'm never a huge fan of these like text jeans or jeans with like text on the uh crotch or back area um, a visu is probably as far as I would go when it comes to like graphics and things like that being put on those areas But uh, yeah, I'm still not fully sold on it. Maybe you guys are more keen on them. Let me know if that's the case Ooh. Okay, they know my weak spot <laughs> I see a varsity jacket and I'm like, oh the, the love for Americana comes out <laughs> Love it. Love the graphics all over it. Uh, we've got a baby devil smoking a doob beer in one hand and we've got a little angel or maybe cupid depending on how uh, you know specific we want to be palace branding down the arms some logos here and there it's probably going to be a huge back graphic as well i feel like this piece is probably going to drop in week one because they love like a big heavy hitting jacket for week one uh it potentially no confirmation potentially might be in collaboration with golden bear because uh palace and golden bear usually collab for their varsity jackets as of late um just like how kith uses golden bear as well uh we'll have to wait and see if it is golden bear it's gonna cost you some serious coin you got to get ready for that ah it wouldn't be a varsity jacket without a huge back graphic on it right <laughs> it's very rare that you have front graphics on a varsity and no graphics on the back but fallen angels devil two angels um what does it say good uh, i can't even read it Bad girls come to palace. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. Good girls go to heaven. Ooh, actually, the, the the text is kind of turning me off. It. I like the graphics without actually reading what the font says. But uh, I mean, if it's not an arm and a leg, I would like the varsity jacket. That's kind of cool. All right, we've got another little jacket showcase to us here. Um, hard to really go off go over the detailings. It looks like it's made out of like a woolen a woolen material. Judging by just like the texture. Um, comes in an orange indigo denim being showcased to us potentially double knees because I can see the stitching on the upper thigh Which I'm assuming is for the extra panel over the knees Oh, Very nice Please don't have some huge ugly back graphic on it. Keep it like that. That's a nice cardigan I wouldn't wear it over the all-over print um, Shirt that we can see there, but I wear it over just like a white button-up black tie Nice pattern there. I like it. I like it. Please don't have something ugly on the back of it though. All right, we got a fleece jacket, a, a capped fleece jacket, a hooded capped fleece jacket. <laughs> comes in a brown, probably comes in quite a few other colors as well. Pretty wild. Um, I love my fleece jackets, collared ones. I'm not, I'm not around the hooded fleece jacket um, I, silhouette yet, but maybe one day. Um, yeah, if you if you're a fan of this, Go for it, but at the moment, I'm getting sweaty just looking at it, man. Damn. Okay, we have a palace knit cardigan. Uh, oh, cardigan's probably not the right word to use. There's there's probably better silhouettes that describe that piece, but uh, yeah, knit jacket there at least. Palace, nice. We've got all over print featuring on these pants here that we saw on the shirt just a little while ago. Looks to be the same graphic there. Um, moving back foot to it. I mean, this is okay. I'm not super blown away by it. I definitely think that this is probably one of my favorite pieces I've seen in the season so far. Again, if there's no big back graphic to it, but we'll have to see. Uh, we've got another showcasing of another jacket, Lucian rocking it, yellow. 
palace trifurc, fleece pants, probably that match the um, fleece jacket that we've seen here. So the jacket might come in a white, and that's probably confirmation that the pants will come in a brown as well. Uh, little palace bucket hat, simple, simple, nice. Okay, nice. We got like a racing car jacket. Um, I like that all the graphics are inspired by famous racing brands and then Palace has done their own little, uh, you know, take on them. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. I, I like this premise. I like it when brands do this. Um, reminds me a lot of Jeff Hamilton's jackets that he did, a lot of the racing NASCAR jackets that he did. Yeah, this is cool. Nice work, Palace. I like this. This is a solid jacket. I saw a video on this and the brand that does the material for it from what everyone was saying in the comments is mad expensive but i mean that material looks really nice right like it, lo it looks like it's got a texture to it it's got this all over print to it it's done in like a bomber jacket style you know what i'm keen man i'm keen it's probably gonna cost like 800 bucks but i'm keen man <laughs> i don't need it because i have like 10,000 jackets uh for streetwear outfits in my wardrobe already but like a palace <laughs> man if only i knew how to skate and could get a sponsorship for them i'd be making videos about skating and rocking their gear all the time damn all right we got another palace jacket i really like this brown corduroy big pockets along here looks like a horizontal pocket and a vertical pocket as well you can see the horizontal pocket here vertical pocket there yeah not too bad don't know how i feel about the cap though cap's probably a no um potentially a checkered shirt as well or a plaid shirt not too bad but yeah that jacket's like a that's a nice piece as long as there's no huge back graphic uh hoodie nothing too crazy about this at least although the material looks quite nice and warm is it like leather no that's not leather it, it does have like, like some kind of grain to it though and like where it's like creasing on the arms here like that doesn't look like cotton I'd be interested to see what that's actually made out of, in all honesty. Because that look that doesn't look like cotton. Okay. A lacy palace shirt. I'd wear this type of thing with like a um with some slacks, maybe a tank top, and because I don't want a lacy shirt as the only uh, upper layer that I've got. I my body ain't looking that good. I'm not looking that good. We we're not summer ready, that's for sure. <laughs> but that would be mad comfy and that would be uh very good for the summer um it's a bit too adventurous for some people though i know that some people aren't going to be feeling this because they're going to be like oh dude i don't know lacy stuff but i think it's cool i think it's cool i'd be keen to see what other colors it comes in all that good stuff we've got another jacket being showcased to us here palace branding down the zipper there button closure at the top uh looks like some matching pants to it just in a different color little um little hit here don't even really know what that is okay so it's got some little hits here palace on the back all right palace uh half zip quarter zip three quarter zip i don't know with matching hat not too bad don't mind the uh little you know panels coming oh sorry the little lines coming down here breaks it up a little bit matches the palace logo on the front oh does it oh is it a whole suit i mean it looks kind of nice it looks kind of nice. A nice little sweatsuit here. I can get around it. Kind of a goofy rugby polo. I kind of like that though. The colors are kind of crazy. I'm not usually a big rugby polo guy, but this is kind of fun, playful, mainly because the colors and I really like the stripes, the separation between like the small stripes and the big ones. It's nice. Also like a plaid palace cap. Crazy. Nice little, again, this doesn't look like cotton. It looks like wool. It's some kind of material that isn't cotton. I swear to God. Uh, full zip up. Um, we've got a nice little bucket hat. Oh, the, the colors here are really nice. Uh, padded vest. We've got a zip up hooded jacket. Uh, we've got some pants. We've got a lot. Man, I don't know about your guys' spring in the UK, but from all the stuff I've seen in Palace's spring 2023 this season at the moment, it looks like it rains 24 7 in the UK purely going off by this lookbook, which I've heard maybe is the case, but this lookbook's really solidifying that it looks like you guys just get rained on all the time. Because <laughs> everything's hooded, everything looks like it's waterproof. Are you guys in the UK okay? It looks like you just, just suffered with all that rain. Okay, we got a knitted hoodie, love palace. Hopefully not a huge back graphic on it. Not too hugely keen on the, on the design, but it's all right. Got some camo pants down here. 
Okay, we got another vest being showcased. Camo one, very utilitarian. If that comes in like a black, a so like a solid black or a solid army green, that will do really well. Uh, we have a long sleeve, uh, well, sorry, a striped short sleeve, but then a long sleeve camo thing underneath it. I hope they're two separate pieces and not the same piece. Um, some, just some camo, uh, sorry, some cargo pants down here. Palace puff branding on the pockets. Okay, I do kind of like that knit. That knit is quite nice. I like the, I hope it comes in some other colors. I don't mind this color. It's all right, but uh, I do like that design. Palace hit there. Denim, cargo denim by the looks of it. We've got palace jacket here featuring very like sports jacket, varsity jacket-esque kind of cuffs. And on the, uh, I guess the turtleneck section or the funnel neck section part of it, which is kind of crazy. Palace branding up top, nice washed out blue denim, all over print shirt with like all these like gambling and lotto kind of like graphics all over it. I think that one's a bit too much for me. Palace hoodie, big hit on the front there. It's okay. Eh, I'm, I'm not too keen on it. I actually like the blue denim with the pink hit on it though. That's kind of cool. I, as much as I, again, as I mentioned before, I'm not the, the biggest fan of like the text hit on the, on the butt. The pink on the blue denim is a nice touch. We got that Cupid, Falling Angel, Palace hoodie. The, the, the graphic's a bit too big for me. It's not necessarily the pink coloring. The, the graphic is just a little bit too big for me. Potentially some pink denim though. That could be kind of funky. All right, we've got a Palace um, Devil knit. I like the devil graphic on the varsity jacket, but not so much the knit. Maybe if the knit was just the like the baby with the blunt and the and the beer, and not the huge palace logo, like just a little dude chilling on the front, maybe. Or like the palace logo on like the arm or something. Yeah, but like I wanted just my little man's here chilling on the chest for sure. Uh, what looks like a Mona Lisa um, beanie in some way there. We got a nice little jacket, contrast stitching on it. Very, very graphic heavy uh, palace cap, but I'm assuming it's meant to be like the like the racing car caps. I remember my old, uh, my grandfather had collected those and loved those. So I think that's where it takes its inspiration from. And it would make sense because I'm sure there's a matching uh, cap to the jacket that we saw. So the jacket came in a black, I'm assuming there's a black cap. If there's a blue cap like this, I'm assuming there's gonna be a blue jacket as well. Uh, while light washed blue denim makes an appearance again, we got a, a lightning hockey jersey. They've done that before, haven't they? No, they did like the Greek one a couple of years ago. Like the Greek, yeah. No, but they have done the lightning graphic before on something else, most definitely. Okay, we got a nice little bomber jacket here. Looks like it's made out of cotton or some other material. I like the colors though. Hopefully it doesn't have a huge back graphic to it because that's just kind of just like a nice piece here. We got the lightning palace uh, shorts. I'm going to say like basketball or sports shorts. Yeah, you would look pretty goofy rocking this and this. I think I just want the, the jersey, in all honesty. I mean, look, I'm not even mad. That's actually a nice palace logo on the back of it. I was kind of worried. I was ready for like a huge triferg, but like a cut out palace logo on the back. It does kind of remind me of Supreme's recent cut out hoodies and whatnot, but... I'm not mad in any way. Nice color, okay logo, like, you know, not, not huge dramas. Um, hopefully it comes in some other colors as well, but a nice piece, nice little jacket. We got a Palace P uh, coach's jacket or windbreaker. What well, looks like a Palace beanie and balaclava combo. You guys know how I feel about balaclavas. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, we got the cargo uh, denim shorts. I can't remember if the pants that we saw before, if they were shorts as well. And if this is just the first time I've seen like below the knees, but uh, it potentially could be. Yeah, I don't know. This coach's jacket. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. Look at, they're doing Uggs. We're getting Uggs this season, fellas. We're getting the Palace Lightning Uggs. That's going to be dropping like week one. That's going to be dropping week one. I would be more keen if they did like an Uggs Sherpa jacket with that disgusting palace like lightning blue design all over it instead of the boots. I think the boots are disgusting. Don't wear them outside the house, bro. I would prefer if they did a jacket, but in saying that, I still wouldn't like the jacket enough, but I feel like the jacket would be better than this. Yeah. 
What 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 a what a season! What a way to start off 2023. The Palace Lightning Uggs. Damn. We got a camo puffer jacket. Palace hit on there. Uh, looks like the all over print that we saw on the button up and the denim um, as well. Nothing really here. And then we got like a sweatshirt inspired by a jersey or a hockey hockey jersey. Looks like we got a Palace New Era uh, 59 um, with the devil and probably the angel as well. That's okay. All right. Well, according to Hypebeast, that is the whole lookbook there. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's actually some pieces I, I like in the lookbook. Um, I think this jacket's really nice. Um, the, the logo I was worried about, but it turned out quite nice. Uh, we have also, we, oh, I like this knit. This knit was quite nice. I hope it comes in some other colors, but this color isn't a big deterrent. I, I guess it's just the red strip is kind of a bit of a, uh, for me, but I could still get around it. Yeah. Um, moving on. Lots of, um... Lots of jackets this season for a spring season. The lacy shirt, look, I'll get around that. I'll have a fun time with it. I'll just rock a tank top, rock that over the top of it. Slacks, um, my new Thursday boots that are on their way. Easy done. There's an outfit put together for summer. Nice. Um, oh, really like that jacket. The texture, the colors, bomber jacket silhouette. I'm there. I'm absolutely there. 100%. Um, the racing car jacket, nice. I'm not a huge racing car jacket guy. I own none of them in my wardrobe, but I like them. People can rock them really well. And I have to say, this is a really nice piece. I just don't think it would be for me, but solid. Um, moving on, we had, okay. Like genuinely, that is an awesome piece. I really hope there's not some huge ugly back graphic on it. A lovely piece, lovely, lovely piece. Um, I hope it comes in heaps of colors. Palace, please do more of that. That cardigan is just awesome, fantastic. Uh, keep going. Ah, oh. your varsity jacket. It's pretty hard for me to say no to a varsity jacket. The text was kind of eh, but the graphics kind of save it. And I feel like nobody's going to question me about the text. They're just going to be like, cool graphics. And I'll be like, please don't read the font. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll get around that. It'll probably just be too expensive for me to be like, eh. Um, Cool canvas jacket. Um, the graphics weren't a huge deterrent for me. Um, nice coloring. Yeah, solid little piece there. Uh, this isn't really for me, but you guys really like your anraks and stuff like that. So, uh, and and what just weather jackets in general. So I can see you getting around that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, in all honesty, um, not a horrible lookbook. I'm hoping to see a lot more awesome stuff when I, if I look at the um, the range and when we cover the weeks. But yeah, uh, a fun little lookbook. Some pieces there I quite like. I think my favorite piece that I've seen um, would probably go to the cardigan. I just think that's really nice, really nice piece. Um, I like the like the trim on it, the buttons, the the you know material, all that stuff. It just looks really nice. Um, yeah, give that to me in an XL. I would wear that to work, absolutely. But uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Spring 2023 lookbook. Are you keen for this season? Are you ready for the drop list video coming out hopefully before this Friday? Stay tuned. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this lookbook down in that comment section below. <sighs> Shweddy, lookbook covered. That's a good way to end it. <laughs> fantastic guys, fantastic. That is the Spring lookbook for Palaces, uh, well, obviously spring 2023 season. Uh, awesome. Lots of cool pieces. Uh, I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are in the lookbook, but more importantly, what your favorite piece is, either from the range or from what we saw in the lookbook. Let me know what you guys are keen on for the spring 2023 season down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering this upcoming palace season, you gotta give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, as I'm always saying, a subscribe to the channel. We're very close to the milestone that we tried to hit this, uh, hit this month of 3,565 subscribers. We have a couple days left of January, and we hit it before the end of it, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3565 before the end of the month. 
but that's everything I got to say about the spring 2023 lookbook guys. Um, there's some very nice pieces there. Lots of pieces that aren't my thing, but very typical palace. Uh, keen to start covering week one for you, um, hopefully before this Friday. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be dropping this Friday. Um, until then, guys, until the next drop list video, until the next palace video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, I'll catch you later.